。大家好，欢迎来到我的频道。我们今天要聊 NVIDIA 的最新动态。丹艾弗斯的采访给了精彩的解读，让我们一起来看一下。Nvidia has announced it will work with Samsung to create a new AI mega factory as part of the deal. The South Korean company is set to deploy more than 50,000 Nvidia GPUs, and the two companies will collaborate on high bandwidth memory chips. Hyundai will also use 50,000 Nvidia chips in a new AI factory. And South Korea's presidential office says more than 260,000 GPUs will be deployed across the public and private sector. CEO Jensen Huang told the Apex CEO Summit that AI chips and infrastructure have changed how we think about computing. AI runs on GPUs, whereas hand-coded software runs on CPUs. This entire software stack, from the necessary the, the needs of energy, chips, the infrastructure, all of the software associated with the systems, the AI models, and the applications on top. Every single layer of computing has been fundamentally changed. Just think, the computer industry has been largely the same for 60 years, and now with AI and accelerated computing, every single layer of the computing stack is being changed. All of the computers we've created in the past, a trillion dollars, maybe more, of computers, need to now be transitioned, shifted to the new computing platform. Well, Dan Ives joins us, global head of technology research at Wedbush Securities. Dan, just back from Asia as well, fleshing out this Nvidia news. We're hearing the 50,000 chips that will be bought to buy Samsung, 50,000 by SK Group, 50,000 by Hyundai Group, by the South Korean government, and also by Navo that will buy 60,000 Nvidia chips, pooling together 260,000. It's not the same as the amount we saw from UAE, the 500,000. But what does this do in terms of justifying that five trillion dollar market cap for Nvidia this week? Yeah, look, I mean, this is a watershed deal, especially for South Korea, because if you if you look, they've kind of been on the outside looking in. Of course, they have SK Hynix on the memory side, but this is huge because if you look at what Samsung's doing, they're. Look, this really gets them into that AI revolution party and really the build out. And and that's very important also for Nvidia. I mean, they're putting a stake in the ground, which is huge because there's one chip in the world fueling the AI revolution, and that's led by Godfather of AI, Jensen Nvidia. But now South Korea, they're not on the outside looking in. They they are deep right now in this AI revolution thesis, and that's why it's very important for the government. I was just there in South Korea. This is an extremely important deal to do it with the the gold standard、uh, Nvidia. Dan, we're seeing a lot of these deals, and the reality is, Nvidia is the partner to the world. So, a lot of countries, a lot of companies, are very keen to ensure this build out of AI is not just a few names in Silicon Valley. And while that may be happening, now you've got all these South Korean names, from Samsung to SK Group, all in the mix. Is this telling us that it is a single play Nvidia investment for people to look at now, because it is going to be the partner? It's not as broad based as it could be across Silicon Valley. But Nvidia is just going to be still a pivotal company for investors here. Yeah, well, Nvidia. I mean, in my opinion, we're, we're looking at what's going to be actually a six trillion dollar market cap, you know, over the next twelve to eighteen months. But I think the important thing is that it's spreading to the second, third, fourth derivatives across the rest of tech. Because you know, look at all the earnings from all the hyperscales: Amazon, Google, Microsoft, off the chart capex that continues to really be a capex super cycle. We see it with Meta and others. But it all starts with foundationally Nvidia, as well as OpenAI. We see those deals there too. But we're talking about fourth industrial revolution, and that's why it's our view. This is a tech bull market next two to three years. Dan, where does this all leave China? There was talk that the Blackwell chips could be part of the、uh, Trump-Xi discussions this week.、Uh, President Trump then saying he's going to leave it to Beijing to speak to Nvidia directly. Um, how important is the China market to Nvidia right now, and how important is Nvidia to China right now? Yeah, look, there's 20 billion reasons a year why Jensen wants that market back, right? You don't want to go 95 percent market share, zero percent. I mean, China, and you see innovation that's, you know, I've seen it firsthand expanding significantly, you know, in China in terms of not just on the chip side, but robotics and technology. And in this AI arms race, Nvidia wants access to that market, but it comes down to the biggest chip on the poker table for Trump is Nvidia, and that's why I would be shocked if Nvidia does not get what I'll say reaccess to that market over the next three to six months in terms of these negotiations. 
Dan, what could derail the NVIDIA story here? It seems like um, it simply just goes from strength to strength now. Its market cap is larger than um, the entire market cap of five of the seven G7 economies. I mean, the, the stock has been absolutely astounding this year. But what could derail the story? Look, ironically, it, and it's still, I, don't, I think it's still inexpensive, you know, relative to where I think numbers are going to go over the next two, three years. Look, when you said what could derail all this, you know, I don't think it's U.S. China. I think it just comes down to like probably in two years you hit power supply issues, specifically like in the U.S. You really need to expand from a nuclear perspective. I said names like Aqua or names that we're bullish on. But look, we're going to have – it's more supply constraints quarter to quarter. That will be an issue. But we've talked about it. This AI party, it started at 9 p.m. It's now 10.30, 10.45 p.m. That party goes to 4 a.m. 首先 ，NVIDIA 宣布与三星合作，建立一个全新的 AI 超级工厂。作为合作的一部分呢，三星将部署超过五万个 GPU。两家公司还将共同研发高带宽的内存芯片。这个我记得，英伟达是没有研发的。那么它和三星呢，就将来到这样一个新的领域。不仅仅是三星，现代集团也将使用五万个 NVIDIA 芯片来建造自己的 AI 工厂。而韩国总统办公室则宣布，整个公司合营部门将部署超过二十六万个 GPU， 这包括了三星、SK 集团、现代集团、韩国政府以及叫 l a v a 的一家组织或者公司。总共拉动二十六万个芯片的采购啊，虽然不像阿联酋的五十万个那么庞大，但这绝对也不是小数啊，是韩国 AI 布局的一个里程碑。NVIDIA CEO 黄仁勋在 Apex CEO 峰会上分享了他的一个观点，他说 ：“AI 的芯片和基础设施啊，彻底改变了我们对计算的认知。AI 运行在 GPU 上面，而传统软件则依赖 CPU， 从能源、芯片到基础设施。”再到 AI 模型和应用，整个计算的每一层都发生了根本的变化。想想看，计算机行业六十年来基本没变，现在 AI 和加速计算正在重塑一切。我们制造的万亿美元级计算机啊，现在都需要转向这个新的平台。丹埃弗斯作为 w e d b u s h 全球科技研究主管，他把这个交易啊称为南韩的分水岭时刻。他说，韩国之前有点像局外人。现在通过这个合作，他们真正要加入 AI 革命的 party 啊，这对 Nvidia 来说也是很关键的，因为他们是 AI 革命的教父 Godfather， 啊，一颗芯片主导全球的建构啊。丹埃弗斯认为，这不仅是 Nvidia 的胜利，还会扩散到科技生态的第二、第三、第四的衍生品，比如说亚马逊、谷歌、微软这些超大规模支出的。超级周期，他预测 Nvidia 的市值将在未来十二到十八个月内达到六万亿美元，这将是科技牛市的延续。谈到中国市场，戴埃弗斯指出啊 ，Nvidia 每年有约二百亿美元的理由想重返那里啊，从百分之九十五的市场份额掉到了百分之零，这太痛苦了。中国在芯片、机器人和 AI 军备竞赛中创新。迅猛 ，NVIDIA 想要参与，但这取决于川普政府的谈判啊。但埃弗斯认为 ，NVIDIA 很有可能在未来的六个月内重新获得准入，因为他是川普手中的最大筹码。那么，什么能颠覆 NVIDIA 的故事呢？但埃弗斯说，不是美中关系，而是两年后可能会出现的供电的问题，尤其是美国要扩展核能供应，但短期内供应的约束啊，可能是季度性的挑战。他认为。NVIDIA 的股价相对未来增长，现在还是便宜的啊。这个这个 AI 的 party 才刚到晚上的十点半啊，他一直的说法就是这个 AI 的 party 要持续到凌晨的四点半，现在才到晚上的十点半。我记得几个月之前他说是晚上九点半，现在已经过了一个小时了，大家要注意啊。那么我现在说一下我自己对这件事情的看法，我认为现在美国正在建设一个 AI 的像正义联盟复或者复仇者联盟那样的一个组织啊，就是铁板一块。你看，因为达加上三星，再加上呃之前的英特尔、AMD、OpenAI 啊、甲骨文这些全部都连成一体了，你知道吧？就是在中美科技竞争，这是一个呃一个未来非常长一段时间的一个持续性的持续的竞争啊。但是现在你看，美国已经这样的连成一块的话，它是非常难搞的，非常非常强。我。最近的那个视频的封面很喜欢用那个高达的战士，也是源自于我的这样一种感觉。我就觉得这个，他们，你看川普啊，这全全部这些公司合起来就是给了川普这样一个底气，他现在又要拉拉把这个韩国的财团也拉进来
，然后还有那个台积电也要在美国建厂，是吧？已经建好了，所以这些产业链，整个 AI 的产业链的上游、中游、下游啊，一直到应用啊，它都想要掌控啊，都想要获得这个控制权。那么这样的话，它在谈判的时候，在中美谈判的时候，中美竞赛的时候，它有非常强、非常强的一个底气。这就是我的一个看法。然后呢，这个整个这个产业链上的很多的公司，原来我说它啊是泡沫，是泡沫，我一直喜欢这样这么说，因为你看它的那个以往，比如说 AMD， 它的芯片，它它我戴个帽子，为了声音的聚焦啊，就是它以往它的这个芯片，它就是竞争不过英伟达，是不是？然后呃，我就觉得它这家这家公司没有这么强。但是现在的问题是，现在的问题是。美国的国家意志想要把这个东西搞上去啊，把这个东西我们结成一个联盟，复仇者联盟或者说正义联盟，那么我们未来有非常多的一个，呃，那么我们未来有非常多的，那么我认为整个，那么我认为整个 AI 的产业链上面啊，这些公司啊，可能都会有一个不错的表现，就是在短期甚至中期，当然不不构成任何的投资建议啊啊，感谢您的收看，我们下期再见。